Now, this is not a bad deal for three canisters. Okay, a red tag sale could be really good here in the purse section. That's a pretty little pitcher, but I don't quite understand all the little holes at the top. Always intrigued at what is in a box. Ooh, Ethan Allen, that's a bougie brand. Okay, these guys are interesting. See how many of these we can fill up. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, I am back in Las Vegas, and I wish I could say it was sunny, but it's not. It's kind of a blustery day today. Our weather is so crazy, but I just had an incredible lunch and get together with some friends of mine, and I realized as I was leaving, it was right down the street from the Goodwill Boutique. So, uh, this is kind of an opportunistic stop at this Goodwill that I normally come here when it is senior day but we're gonna give it a try we're gonna look for those upscale things now the goal is you know say to pay ten dollars for something that sells for thirty dollars or more or twenty dollars for something that sells for let's say fifty dollars or more it's kind of like what's in my head as I'm shopping here today so we're looking for those higher end items we're gonna get inside we're gonna get shop done all right it is the deja blue boutique on Charleston. Look at that. 10300 Charleston. All right, and they don't have full size carts here. We have little lucky carts. So, see how many of these we can fill up. And as I'm filming this, I am doing a spring fling sale over on the Niche Shopping Network tomorrow. Lamboro Crafts Pure Gold. These are really cool, but see, 10 bucks. 10 buckaroonies. I don't, don't think I can do 10, 10 bucks for these guys, but they are really kind of amazing. Our color we're looking for is orange. All right, let's take a peek. Pretty little uh, filigree basket. Tabletops Lifestyles. So that's the thing about the boutique. These are kind of like better curated items. So the prices are going to be up a bit more from the normal store prices. Ooh, those are cool candles. Who are you? You are Citronella Soy Wax. Yada de yada de, but there's no brand name. They're just pretty. All right, I don't see a whole lot on this table that we're gonna be able to do much with, except maybe this guy, but he's not glass. He's not glass, he's acrylic. Had he been glass, I, I, would, I would have been okay paying 10. So I'm really not going to be buying any bunny stuff because Easter is just literally right around the corner. Not a whole lot of time left to be selling Easter items. These are kind of grabbing my attention here, but I don't think they're that old. I think this part looks like older glass, but I think these are reproductions. Still cool, but we're going to leave them. Pretty, I almost said conventional, that's not the word I was looking for. Contemporary, contemporary is the word I was looking for. A lot of this stuff is very contemporary, like home goods kind of stuff. And if you watched my last video, I did a little shopping trip at home goods to do some comparison shopping. Actually, it was not my last video. When you're seeing this, it was a few videos ago. My bad. Uh, but it was where I went to the Goodwill bins in San Diego. I also went to Home Goods. This is the type of thing that Jordan is picking up for her wedding, but I think we can find them for cheaper than $10. <laughs> San Francisco 49ers belt. That is a very tiny, is it a belt or is it? I think it's a belt. That's a really small belt. Okay, we're gonna leave that. Cute, cute little teapots. They are nothing, nothing too special. Just, why are polka dots so cute? Also, that's their yellow tag, newer stuff mixed in. 
and I'm looking for the battery operated ones of these, which is something that Jordan is going to be using at her wedding. I do really like this candle holder. It's $10. It's very lightweight. It's, it's nothing that great, but I do like it. Okay. Absolutely love this bread box. Does it open easily? No, no, it does not. There we go. <laughs> no, that was just, I don't know why that wasn't opening for me before. I don't think it's old, but it is really cute. It's $15. I'm not sure it sells for more than like 20 to 25, but I'm going to give it a quick look up. So I did find one for sale online for $15 and another one for 78. So I couldn't find any solds, which is the real indicator of value. So I think we're going to have to leave it. Now, this is not a bad deal for three canisters. They are contemporary, the kind you would find again at home goods. It's $20 for all three pieces. My reservation is that I don't want to ship all three of those pieces. And most likely somebody would want all three of them together as a set. So for that reason, I'm going to leave it. Although that might have been a good investment. This is a cute little set. Again, it's $10 Hoppy. I also just discovered something. Red tags are half off today. That could work out very much in our favor. I am kind of going through some of the clothes as well because I'm still on the hunt for something to wear for Jordan's wedding. We got the pants. I got the palazzo pants, but I don't have the top for it yet. This is Orpher. So see, this is $12.50. I think I saw this uh, the last time I was here and $25 is just not doable. But you know what? $12.50 sure is. So we're going to grab that. Let's see what this is. It looks very retro. It's a little retro atomic ashtray, but it looks like a reproduction. Even as a reproduction, it's pretty super cool, and I'm gonna grab it for six bucks. It's kind of pretty. This teacup is a Celebrate made in Japan. It is, ooh, $9.99. I think we will leave that one. That is a pretty little vase right there. Frosted glass with little flowers. It feel they feel like stickers though. They're applied on the outside. They are not etched. Wow, that was a little deceiving. Looks like it might have had a sticker up there at one time that said who made it. See that little outline there? So we don't know. It's pretty, but I think I'm gonna leave it for $10. Cute little set of jars, 15 for a set of four. Just little, little Japanese jars. Yeah, not exciting enough. Got some cute little sandwich glass, little juice glasses. It's 13 for five of them. And then there's this little Nice little vintage dish, but not exciting enough to pay 10 for. Lots of very common stuff to be found. These little shamrock glasses are cute. I just sold some made from, uh, made in Czechoslovakia that had little shamrocks on them. Unfortunately, this is like a very specialty thing now until, you know, March of next year. Let's see what this little guy is. Just a common little crystal, 24% lead crystal. This looks like an older kind of a USA pottery piece. Yep. There we got California original right there. $15 on that a little big and heavy for me to pick up today. Got a little blue section here. Nothing too exciting. I can tell from a distance. See the coarseness of this, the seams. Looks to be recycled glass. A little more contemporary than what I'm looking for when it comes to glass. Ooh, that's a pretty piece. Look at the pattern on that. What's that? 
Easy Exotic by Padma Lakshmi Culinary Collection. That's quite nice, actually. Again, it's big though. I'm really, uh, I'm really trying to get away from the big, the big things. Uh, you know, and this always happens. Just as I say that, I look up. Look at this amazing crystalline glaze plate. It's twelve fifty. No, I don't want to ship that. Oh, but it is super gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that glaze. Okay, no, I just, I just have to say no this time. You know, I love these little fake books. Oops, I did that, I did that to where I'm not going to be able to open it up. Here, there we go. This is a little fake box book. And what I noticed was this beautiful bird. So if it's sitting in the bookcase like this, $7.99. I do really love that one just because if i put it in like that you got that beautiful red bird 7.99 mm, i'm torn do i need it i don't really need it i'm i'm gonna be good as much as i want it i'm gonna leave it there okay a red tag sale could be really good here in the purse section this cutie this one's gray tag, $15. I don't know who makes this one. It's really cute though. Can't find a name. I can't find a name. There's no name. It's a purse with no name. This one is a romance. Ralph Lauren. Look at that pink. Ooh, my friend Dawn of Hudson Vintage would really like this color. I think it is missing its strap though. See, it's supposed to have a strap and it does not have it. So cozy earth. They get lots of new with tags things here. Sometimes you can see what the original retail is from those tags. This one does not have one. And I don't see, oh, it's 15 purple tag. Steve Madden. Oh, that's Anne Klein, the little Anne Klein lion there. All right, nothing too exciting in this first little section. They kind of have them by color. See, so again, this is like really cute because of the color, but it is 15. It is, oh, it's another stone mountain. I don't think this one is worth too much more than that so we'll have to pass and it looks like a lot of the red tags are gone so i'm sure there are other resellers in town who know about this red tag sale and they hit this store early you know this is a kate spade and the quality feels authentic i've been actually getting my hands on a lot of authentic kate spade lately so it'd be $15. You know what? It needs a little cleanup. I think that'll clean up though because it's a fabric. I'm going to pick up that Kate Spade. It's kind of like worst case scenario. I would just get my money back out of it because there's no way that Kate Spade is selling for less than 20. This is Heritage West. Look at that with the fringe. It is a new purse. 750. I feel like that's pretty specialized. Someone would really want to do that patriotic kind of look. And I don't want to hold on to things too long. I want them to sell quickly. So for that reason, yeah, see, look, here's another one. All right. And then the last of the purses, let's see. I can find another Kate Spade. That'd be fun. That is an Alexis Bendel. I feel like I looked that brand up and it was a decent brand, but there is, oh, I was gonna say there's no price. 15, okay, it's not a red. I like for once I'm looking for red tags. I never look for red tags because the red tags are usually out of reach, but with red tags being 50% off, we are definitely looking for the red tags. But it's late in the day on the sale day. So they're going to be few and far between. Let's see. This is a cute little purse. Let's see who makes you. And I don't, 
I don't see a name anywhere on it. Another purse with no name. Well, that's a very functional little purse, though, for $12.50, though. No, I don't think I'm going to have to pass it. Got another bread box. Pretty little teapot. It's 15, but we're going to go ahead and look and see who makes it. It is El Grieve. Division of Wooden Sons England Genuine Ironstone. That is very beautiful, but we can't. Whoops. There we go. Can't do 15. Cute little kitty cat guy. That's a pretty little picture, but I don't quite understand all the little holes at the top. Interesting. It's got a little mark under there. It looks like it's made in Portugal or Spain or Italian. That's kind of the vibe it's given off. It is $13, so we're gonna leave it. Very interesting though. Give me a J. Little honey jar by Hearth and Hand of Magnolia. It's missing its spoon. Oh, it's $5.99. That's not bad. That's not bad. But we're going to pass. Got some beautiful glass Last Supper plates. Oh goodness, how fun is he? What is his function? He holds something. Okay, what is his purpose? I'm not gonna get him, he is $6, but I would really like to know what he's supposed to hold. And we have little, little French Bulldogs. Oh, they're salt and peppers, $10 a set. We can't do that. Ooh, look at the pretty gazing balls. They are 25, hey, the little one is 20. The bigger ones are 25. Little china sets over here. Let's see who makes this one. The Regent Collection, Crown Ming. Has kind of Amari colors going with it. Okay, I've done pretty good over here in the past finding some nice, Stuff. I really don't like glassware sets, but these are intriguing. Very intriguing. Because you could use those as little vases, too. They don't have to be. I think they're like little liqueur glasses. Correct me if I'm wrong. Alright. Ooh, we got a Scentsy. I don't personally like these little plug-in ones, so I tend not to pick them up. They just don't work as well as the big ones. Let me know your thoughts on that if you are a Scentsy fan. And then let me just admire these adorable little mugs with the little creatures inside of them. I really wish they weren't $8 each because I just don't think I can do that. But darn it, those are cute. I'm still on the hunt for a mug for Noah. The problem is I can't quite remember what the mug was. So Noah, you're going to have to help me with that one. Refresh me on what I'm looking for. That's a San Francisco Starbucks mug. That one's pretty cool. Clementine. You are $6. That's a really nice mug. Very sweet mom. Oh yeah, Mother's Day will be here before we know it. Okay, no mugs today. Let's look down here at some of the new box to stuff some pampered chef are those martini glasses they are dots martini glasses pampered chef i didn't know Mar i didn't know pampered chef made glasses but look they're red tag so they'd be ten dollars you know what i'm gonna do a look up on those okay they do sell in the 30 to 40 range but not consistently sometimes they're like in the 25 range so even at $10, I'm hesitant to pick these up. 
I mean, shipping would be a breeze. I gotta say, they do are in their own box. This is why I'm torn. They're sh like they're ready to ship. They're ready to go. Uh, ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars. You know what? I think I will do it just because that's an easy ship. Got a little Star Wars Funko Pop guy there. What is that? Coca Cola. Got a nice gravy boat. What's the pattern on that? Royal Duchess Bavaria. That is beautiful. Oh, it's a two piece set. You have to get the platter and the gravy boat. We don't want the platter. All right, let's take a peek at the art wall. They always have some interesting things, but mostly contemporary. I have found some amazing pieces here though. I found some Norman Rockwell artist proofs here at one point. Like I'm really drawn to that, but I think it's a print. You tell, you put a loop on it and you look for the little dots that show that it was printed. Painting is always going to have some different textures and just a different feel. Ooh, those are not bad for $13 for the set though. See, I'd rather find those for like three bucks a piece. I think I'm gonna pass. All right, I don't think we're gonna find anything in the art today. Oh, one more little wall over here. Well, uh, still nothing. That's pretty. Let's see what we've got on the textiles here renaissance well oh it's a duvet duvet cover what do you do with the duvet cover do you put it over like a comforter i've never quite understood what you do with a duvet cover or what an actual duvet is i know i know i've lived this whole life not really understanding duvets if someone could explain that to me I would appreciate it because I would like to know what I've been missing out all these years. Oh, for those wondering why in my last few videos I was not looking at the white flowers, that is because uh, Jordan had a spectacular thing happen. She had a company that rents artificial flowers for events reach out to her and offer to supply all the flowers for her wedding. How amazing is that? She's still gonna use the ones I've gathered for her to this point, but we don't need to scramble to find any more. I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. Paris Royal, this is, is that for the set? Yes, it's for a creamer and sugar. Why am I like drawn to creamers and sugars lately? That's a very pretty little set, but I think it's new uh, it's not super collectible. I'm gonna pass on that one. Always intrigued at what is in a box. Oh, it looks like a little, is that like a little sake set maybe? I don't know. I still, sometimes you look in the box and you still don't know what it is. Pray, love, tea. Oh. The glaze on that is just not done very well. Ooh, did not expect that. Those are kind of pretty. Kind of big and they are contemporary, so we'll leave them. That's pretty too. From 1-800-Flowers. What are you? Ooh, Ethan Allen, that's a bougie brand. How much are you? You have no price. Mm. Wonder if I should get a price on that. Hammered aluminum, very nice quality. You know what, I'll put it in the cart. Let's see what they say. This piece has an interesting look. We don't know who makes it for $10. We're going to leave that one. What are you? Pretty. Wait, you got a name. You are 
trade continental mark hand wrought hammered aluminum very pretty 12.99 not gonna do it hammered aluminum just unfortunately doesn't have a ton of value out there on the resale market i am really drawn to pottery lately and this piece is a signed piece like a studio pottery no price again all right let's find out how much these guys are interesting they are quite contemporary where does that say Fred Harvey pottery hmm they have some damage this is why I'm giving them a second thought because they're large they have some damage they don't have their full resale value so I think we're gonna leave those Pretty piece, probably like a Mikasa. I think the store closes early and I think they're thinking about closing. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of power shopping. I'm trying to figure out how this works, this box. There's something weird going on with this and it is $13. So we're not gonna spend a lot of time trying to figure that out little laser etched horse clock. Oh, is that, that's an interesting piece of pottery back there. But again, huge, big, don't want to deal with that. Got a little dolphin, $7.99 though. Oh, he's fun. I wonder what he was holding. He was definitely holding something. Hmm, what do you think he was holding? That's kind of a cool vase too. It is contemporary though. I'm gonna try to stay away from the contemporaries as much as possible. Unfortunately, that is a lot of what I find in this particular store. He's fun. It's $12.99. Ooh. Nice little wood bait. Oh, it's got a glass insert. Oh, it's a hearth in hand by Magnolia. It was a $30 vase for 10. I think I may uh, leave that and come back on senior day. Ooh, I like you. Party light, I'm trying to look like Blanco. There is a pair of them, but they're, oh yeah, it's 15 for the pair. Again, uh, that's something I would pick up at 40% off. For sure. Pretty little trinket. Oh, they're ten dollars. Ten dollars each. All right, we'll leave those. That giraffe is pretty awesome. He is ten dollars. Like ten dollars seems to be the price. That's a planter. Fifteen. Little stone dolphin. He's ten. Oh, that is Pioneer Woman for 15. Oh my. Mario Juarez for 10. Oh, I'm kind of wishing I'd have been here to get some of those red tags. I think I'm definitely going to make myself a note for when the next red tag sale is. They'll start advertising it again very soon. Port Marion Seascapes, 15 for the set of three. Probably not bad, but again, a lot to deal with right now. Katie, Katie Kime Berry, two? There's two Berry Colanders in there? How do you get two Berry Colanders in there? Let's see. Oh, they're square. Okay, one's, one's, Littler than the other one. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Uh, let's go down here. It would only be $5 for the little berry. I still can't. I'm down here and I still can't get the leverage. There we go. They're just a little plain. But you know what? I think 
What'd I say? Ah! For five dollars, I think I think we'll pick those up for five dollars. Cause again, easy to ship. They're already in their box. We got some little willow trees. Ten dollars. That's pretty. Again. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ooh, these are bookends. Fifteen. Not a bad price, but I don't know, senior day, it's not that far away. I think I should hold out. That is a beautiful piece of crackle glass, $10. I love it. That I'm gonna grab. And that is a pretty vase, but it is not anything. Look, you can see the home goods on there, $10. It would still sell, probably in the $25 to $30 range but we're looking for better than that. Little sake set. I think I like this store, even though the high prices are here, I like it because it's just pleasant. It's just everything, it's just kind of nice to look at. Even if it's not something I would buy for resale, I just kind of love looking at all the goodies. This is $10 for that set. These are very contemporary. Got a little teapot. What does that say? Happy everything. That's sweet. Six bucks still though. I thought this was a tumble up for a minute, but it's not. It's just a hand painted vase. I do like the Nautilus shell pieces too. Okay, let's head over to the jewels. I generally find some really good stuff at this store. Let's see. Maybe something red tagged that someone hasn't snagged yet. That, I gotta tell you, I didn't even think about coming here when they do the red tag sale, but it makes a lot of sense because a lot of their stuff gets red tagged. And it looks like this jewelry counter has been pretty wiped out today. Okay, jewelry was a bust, but I'm gonna backtrack on a couple things that I passed just to see if they were red tagged and I missed it. Okay, uh, nothing was red tagged here. Well, that was a fun little pit stop that was completely unplanned and I got one little cart full of stuff, including a few pieces of clothes for myself. Stay tuned for a recap. I'll show you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. Coming up. a totally different day but I've been editing the video that you're seeing today so I just wanted to add a few thoughts here at the end a lot of people have been asking me the name of my eBay store and I am happy to give the name of my eBay store but just know that there's not a lot in my eBay right now because I took a hiatus from eBay and Etsy and all of the other sites I put some things on Cherish <clears throat> but I've taken those back off right now. 
because I'm doing a total kind of revamp of my reselling life. I, I lost focus in 2023 and I'm getting refocused in 2024 and really going back to my roots. I am listing myself, I am shipping myself, and I do have Rachel helping me take pictures. That's the one piece. And we're working on improving those as well. So uh, the eBay is utterly good stuff. It's been that way for decades, and I'm just not ready to change that. But I am doing something new with that. So what's going to be on my eBay store is going to be clothing, shoes, household items with really good profit margins that I find. And the cool thing is all I have to do is buy the items. I will be sending those off to a fulfillment center slash service that is going to run that whole end of the business for me. Uh, it's something I'm testing. So I'm going to share more of that with you because if this works as good as I think it's going to work, then I absolutely want to share that with all of you. Because uh, that can just open up a whole new world for so many of you who don't have room to store things, who don't have the time to get it listed because you're working a full-time job, all of those things. So stay tuned. That's coming very soon. But if you want to follow, I'm just getting ready to send off my first 25 items. So um, make sure that you look down in the description of the videos because that's where all of the information is on all these things that... I do and use and places you can find me and all of that. Um, but the other thing is I list almost everything you see in the videos gets listed on nicheladyshop.com. I run that on the Shopify platform that is considered my own website and that is where the things go and I'm having a lot of fun with that. I got to tell you, having a lot of fun with it. Uh, we are working on better pictures, better listings, all of those things coming. Like I said, it's a process and I'm, I'm working it in. And then for those of you who have been with me since the time that I did live sales here on the channel, I have moved those live sales over to the Knit Shopping Network, which is another YouTube channel right now. Stay tuned for info on that. It's a YouTube channel where we do live sales. And when I say we, I am partners with Dawn of Hudson Vintage. And we are going to start bringing in other resellers. And there's a website coming very, very soon that's going to have some surprises for you as well. So there is a lot going on in my reselling world. I do consider myself a reseller first and foremost. And then a YouTube content creator as well. They're pretty equal. They're pretty equal in my life. It's like running two complete businesses. And so that's what's happening. So stay tuned for more info on that. Always watch the descriptions of the videos. I'm trying to pin something in the first comment that gives you links. Uh, I do have a membership and on that membership, I do lives from the shipping room. I do some little bit of extra content here and there. Um, just uh, other things that happen that I can't do here on the public channel, but I can do it there in a membership. So with that, everyone, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.